Hi, Mr. Rebele here with another homework helper. This time it's on elapsed time, or I call it chunking. In order to get elapsed time, like from a start time to a stop time, we teach the kids to do it in chunks. Let me show you what I'm talking about. One of the first things we do is we say, hey, if we were going to count two hours and 40 minutes, how would we chunk that? We teach the kids to chunk it in little time chunks like this. One hour, one hour. That's the two whole hours. And then the 40 minutes is 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and 10 minutes. So that's 2 hours and 40 minutes. We teach the kids to chunk times in 1 hour, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 1 minute. Keep following along with me. I'll show you why we do that. How would you chunk 4 hours, 45 minutes? Well, using this same strategy here, we would do 1 hour. That's 4 whole hours. And then 45 minutes is 10, 10, 10, 10, and 5. Four hours, 45 minutes. Let me show you the problems that we often have with elapsed time and the, the two different ways they're presented to the kids in fourth grade. So you can help your student, help your child to time chunk those and to figure out elapsed time. I'll show you how it looks. The first one is... Walter went to the store at 10.45 a.m. and stayed there for 2 hours 15 minutes. What time did he exit the store? So we know our start time is 10.45. We know that he was there for 2 hours 15 minutes. What we're going to do is chunk, like we did with the first example, in 1 hour increments until we can't go any further. Then we're going to chunk in 10 minute increments until we can't go any further. Then to 5 minutes, then to 1 and watch, watch why we work this. 10.45 to 11.45, that is the connector, one hour. You have to make the kids make this physical connection between 10.45 and 11.45, or they'll put one hour, two hours. That's not the right thing. 10.45 to 11.45 is one hour. To 12.45, that's one hour. So that gives us our two hours. Now we need 15 minutes. And we go 10 minute increments and then 5 minute increments. Increments are chunks, we tell the kids. So we go from 12.45 to 12.55, that's 10 minutes. I have 2 hours and 10 minutes, but I need 2 hours and 15 minutes. So I need 5 more minutes. That would bring me to 1. That's 5 minutes. I can double check my math here. That's why we have them listed or make a time log of the chunking that they've done. One hour, two hours, 10, 15. That's two hours, 15 minutes. And the time that he exited from the store was 1. This was a.m. This was p.m. because we crossed over 12 noon. So Walter entered the store at 12.45. He exited the store at the 1 p.m. two hours and 15 minutes later. Time chunking. Let me show you the other type of problem that we use time chunking on. That is, Sam went jogging at 8 and finished at 9.15. How long did he jog? Now we have to find the missing elapsed time using the same strategy, time chunking. Watch this. 8 o'clock. <clears throat> he went to 9.15, so we do have room for a whole hour. He went to 9 o'clock. That is one hour. Now I can't go another chunk of an hour. I have to go to 10 minutes. <clears throat> if I go from 9 to 9.10... That is 10 minutes, and then I can go to 9.15, which is 5 minutes. So I've got 1 hour and 10.15 minutes. 1 hour, 15 minutes. So he jogged for 1 hour and 15 minutes from 8 until 9.15. Using the connectors here, marking the hours, marking the minutes. Again, we do chunking, starting with 1 hour. If we can't chunk an hour, we go to 10 minutes. If you can't chunk 10 minutes, go to 5 minutes. If you can't chunk 5 minutes, go to 1 minute. Add them all together. That gives you elapsed time. Time chunking, homework helper, practice time chunking.